Howdy! In this video, we're going to talk about Taylor polynomials. Now, Taylor polynomials, I would actually be a little bit upset if my Cal 1 students missed this problem because you did this exact same thing back in Cal 1. Let's uh, see if you recognize this equation. So, this is the general formula for a Taylor polynomial, but uh, what is it? Let's see if I got something. What does this look like? Wasn't that just linear approximation? Wasn't this just quadratic approximation? Back in Cal 1, you were doing Taylor polynomials. We just didn't call it that. This is a first degree. Your linear approximation is a first degree Taylor polynomial. This, your quadratic, was a second degree Taylor polynomial, and so forth. So this is literally something you did back in Cal 1. So if you watched that video way back last semester, and I said, remember this day, because it'll come back in Cal 2, today is that day. So all we got to do, these are really cool. I'm excited about this because they're really not too bad. What you're going to do is you're going to be given a function. You're going to be given an A value. And if you want a first degree Taylor polynomial, go to the first derivative. You want a second degree Taylor polynomial, go to the second derivative. Third degree, third derivative, and so forth. And it's a plug and chug. So taking a look at number one, if f of x is equal to the square root of x, and you want to find a second degree Taylor polynomial centered at nine, your general equation, t2 of x, is going to be f of nine, I'm just going to go to the second derivative, plus f prime of 9 times x minus 9 plus f double prime of 9 times x minus 9 squared all over 2 factorial, which is just 2. And so my job is to find these three numbers and plug them in. So if your f of x is equal to x to the 1 half, f prime would be uh, 1 half x to the negative 1 half and then f double prime is going to be a negative 1 fourth x to the negative 3 halves and now we just got to do it at 9 at x equals to 9 the square root of 9 is 3 here 1 half times 9 to the negative 1 half is one half times, well, one over square root of nine is just one third, so that'd be one sixth. And then for this one, I'm gonna have a negative one fourth times nine to the three halves, which will be negative one fourth times nine to the three, oh, negative three halves. Nine to the three halves is 27. The negative exponent means it goes on bottom. So one over 27, this comes out to a negative one over 108. Once I have these three numbers, plug it into these three slots, and you're done. Your final answer, your second degree Taylor polynomial, is going to be f of 9, which is 3, plus f prime of 9, so it's 1 sixth, times x minus 9, plus f double prime of 9, so it's a negative 108, but since I'm going to go ahead and divide that by 2, 108 divided by 2 that'll be 1 over 216 times x minus 9 squared. And this is how you're going to do all your Taylor polynomials. So join me in the next video, and we'll use Taylor's inequality to find the error bound um, on that said Taylor polynomial.